one very slowly. <laughs> and I still don't know, I didn't get to do the research, whether the name of the animal came first or the deadly sin came first. I think it's terrible that we should find another word for that, because the sloth mm, animal, I still... Cute. What am I going to do with a sloth in my house? Wait, it's not going to be able to get away from my cats. <laughs> it would scare the crap out of my cats. Sloth, slow. It's not lazy. I always have to make sure people know that. Just because I haven't vacuumed my carpet on my stairs in two weeks does not mean I have sloth. <laughs> Doesn't mean that I'm lazy, even. Sloth. Well, it makes more sense with the grace. Wisdom. The grace of wisdom is when you're not applying that which you've already learned. The wisdom that you already have. Mm -hmm. When you won't forgive, even though you know it's the really the highest, most selfish spiritual act you can take, that the benefit of forgiveness always goes to the forgiver. That you know there's something that you have to heal. Once my psychic friend, I love calling him a psychic friend, I'm sure that just gave him an ass itch <laughs> on the other side of the country. Once he told me, you have to quit smoking or you're going to be looking at heart disease and cancer in two years. He gave me a time frame. He's really good. I was like, I'm on it. Because now I know. Now I have the wisdom. I also think it would be pretty stupid of me to just cold turkey all at once, knowing my personality, knowing that renunciation doesn't work for me. It has to be prayerful and deliberate and gradual. But if I ignore that, knowing that I know that's sloth and that I deserve whatever I get, here's something I learned. We're all heroes on the hero's journey. And if you want to research the hero's journey, read Joseph Campbell. I think he wrote a whole book on the hero's journey. Uh, but he talked about it a lot. I mean, God rest his soul. I hope he reincarnates just so that we can have that light back on the planet. He was very hopeful to me. But do you know what happens when the hero says no to the call of the hero's journey? Disaster. Mm -hmm. That's why cowardice gets to me, because I always answer the call. And I have from a very young age. I have the hero archetype, Kronos, lifelong. Now, there may have been times where I didn't realize there was a call, and there's some wiggle room on that. But I've what I'm really looking at with these cowards is sloth. It's a deadly sin. They are afraid to take the journey because their lives will change beyond their ability to control it. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the hero.